And just like that, Arsenal and Chelsea are indeed in a race for Amudu Onana, a player with legs in the midfield. Boy, does Declan Rice need it. Onana could be exactly the type of midfield powerhouse Arsenal have lost since Ghana and Thomas Party went down in the war. Here on Onyx World, we got a quick one. Let's break down the idea of this transfer and get the fuck out of here. Chapter 1, The Unknown. Despite Onana being known to be a defensive midfielder before anything, after seeing how Mikel Arteta opens with signings he signs nowadays, here we are is not a left back. <laughs> Interestingly enough, the guy is playing under a football war general in Dice, whose last motive is to play attacking football. An athletic piece with the proper capabilities to cover grass and suffocate teams makes sense for Arsenal. Also, when you couple the fact that this is a guy technically sound at just a super young age of 22, he can be molded into another level of midfielder if he moves to a bigger club. Does this mean Declan Rice is unlocked and he can provide the attack and impetus in Shaka's role of last season? Due to Granit Shaka being well, Granit Shaka. I think the public have decided any midfielder signed for money, even Kai Havertz, will be 100% better. And I hate that we almost pre assume anytime we see someone new in that role he'll do the job last time i checked buddy no one since granite shotgun all the games this season i performed at his level in the role of last season not trosar not kai not even rice when he played there for a small space of time in the beginning of the season i truly believe this could be our next big issue as our midfield balance is questioned whether this signing happens or not chapter two financial insecurity brand new start of it in old new Breaking news, Everton have just been hit with a 10 point deduction in the Premier League for breaching FFP rules. That means they drop from 14 points to 4 and from 14th place to 19th, which is level on points with Burnley in last place. Now funnily enough, the only team in Premier League history to avoid relegation while having 4 points or fewer after 12 games is Everton in the 1994-95 season. And in this current season, with the quality of opposition and the turn of form that Everton have been in recently, I actually think they could maybe even do it again. But how are you feeling Everton fans? Do you think the 10 points was deserved? Are you worried about relegation? Let us know. Question of the day. Does Amadou Onana fix Arsenal's problems? Chapter 3. Profile. Standing at 6 foot 4 inches and being as technically gifted as he is, Arsenal would have one of the most physically talented midfield since Vieira and Gilberto. He's powerful, yes, and skilled exactly the type of anchor you would need if Rice could somehow fill Shaka's position. He's an anchor in central midfield, making an average of 2.2 tackles per game and being dribbled past just 0.4 times on average 90 minutes. Yeah, he's just that good defensively. And adding Onana into the occasion, Arsenal don't only get better in the press, they become beasts in being able to go man for man athletically with any team in the Premier League. <laughs> Make no mistake about it, the worst form since 2020. We're in a crisis. Call it panic mode. Arsenal are two more Premier League losses away from banners and flares and riots. Dog, I'm dead ass. Craziest part is, Arteta's been actually dealt a fair hand during his first time at Arsenal. Because what manager do you know is able to potentially, after spending just 200 million in the summer on a team that finished five points off City, got to get more money and is linked to having Onana now for another 50 million on top of the money he just spent. You tell me. Feeling in the room is, every time Mikel Arteta has a problem, he's able to just spend the money to fix it.